Okay, let's see what this 7 GB update on PC is all about. 7 GB. Yo, yo. Okay, okay, look at this, look at this. Free to play, by the way. So if you don't claim this, you're never gonna get this for the rest of your life. Ever. Lapless. How do I look? Sexy, perhaps? Wow. For free! Everybody gets it for free. Now, if you don't have Red Hood, don't worry, you still get it for free, alright? Just that you can use it in battle, FOMO, FOMO, so make sure you guys get Red Hood, alright? Wow. Okay, this is good enough, how about the chibi? Wow. Even the chibi has butt cheeks, damn! Chibi butt cheeks. Wow, Miranda? You any Miranda abusers? So she's like a Night Thief Phantom. Okay, is there asset though? People love asset. Like it, Baseball? Okay. Damn! <clears throat> Yo, this one can compete with volume, guys. Eh? Wait, since when, is, since when is she so big? Is this for the mission pass or what? Okay. So those are the new costumes. Let's see, somebody told me about the Nikipedia. So that that's the only one, right, for costumes? So Nikipedia, what is that? There's a new character. So we got a new character called Phantom. Okay. Phantom is going to be the next character. Burst 3 Elision. Elision is back. Phantom Abuser. Okay, what is she? A sniper rifle? Wait. Is that machine gun? Okay, but why is that gun so long? That's the longest gun I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she used the gun as a walking stick? Okay, that is pretty cool. Look at this, the gun is actually a walking stick. Okay, let's see, what is she all about? What is Phantom all about? She's a water type. If you're a big water type fan, assault rifle. Okay, I was wrong, it's not machine gun, it's assault rifle. She's an attacker and she will belong in the Elysian class. So she's gonna be the next character. So if you're looking for an attacker, she might be the next meta character. So let's see, uh, what is she all about? So activates when hitting a rapture with normal attack. If the rapture is not in calling card status, so she has this calling card status. Uh, decrease defense by 32%. Okay, she can decrease defense. When hitting a rapture with a normal attack, if the rapture is not in calling card status, uh, increase your hit rate by 25%. Stacks up to three times. All right, a lot of hit rate increase. Activates when hitting a target with normal attack if the target is in calling card status. If the target is in calling card status, she gets attack damage increased by 75% for one round. So one whole round, that means until she reloads, I assume, right? That's going to be quite long. Uh, so it depends on... So you got to increase the max ammo capacity to make sure this you benefit from this as long as you can. So for skill 2... When Thief's Dagger is fully stacked, affect the target in calling card status after the stacks are removed. Deals damage 84% as final attack. Okay. And then uh, after the Thief Dagger is fully stacked, affect self after the stacks are removed. Distributed damage increase. Stacks up to 3 times. Stacks are removed after burst skill is cast. So activates after landing 10 normal attacks. She gets uh, attack increase by 85%. That is a lot of attack. 85%. After landing 10 normal attacks. That is a lot of boosts actually. Is this going to be almost permanent I think. Distributed damage increased by 31%. So also uh, deals 100,452 of final attacks distributed. That's a lot. What the heck? 1,457% as distributed damage. Damage is going to distribute across the field. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. How much is Scarlet's one? Isn't she, isn't she a Scarlet killer? Because think about it, right? Scarlet, the strongest character in the game. Well, let me pull out Scarlet. So hers is 1,457%. Scarlet is 849%. She's doing double Scarlet's damage. Wait. Scarlet is 800%. How much is uh, Maid Privity? Maid Privity, give me a moment. Uh, I think her damage is going to be quite insane actually. She, she might actually be broken. She might actually be broken. Because if you look at the damage potential. Mate Privity is... 1066%. Hers is almost 1500%. She has way higher multiplier. 
Now, is that going to be a lot? We'll see, right? And also, it's distributed damage as well. That means it's going to distribute amongst all the characters evenly. I find that extremely peculiar, right? That she has such a high multiplier. Uh, is she going to be meta? Um, She is going to be standard character, I think, for the next one, right? But here's the thing, right? Being a water type and also being a assault rifle, that means she competes directly with Winter Lumila. If you guys already have Winter Lumila, you maybe don't need her as much, but I think it's still nice to get more water uh, character. So she's going to be the swimsuit neon killer. Swimsuit neon is officially dead. Alright, once she's released, nobody is going to remember swimsuit neon anymore. Like, anybody remember swimsuit neon? No one. Because nobody cares about her anymore. I think it's a sad day. If you're a swimsuit neon believer, I think it's a sad day. Because she's one of the most uh, prestige water type character. But she's going to completely get replaced. Okay, so now let's talk about the next character. Who is it going to be? The other one. Besides Phantom, that will be released, I believe, in the next event. is going to be... Queen C Escape Queen. Huge! Hey, instructor. Yo, huge bouncy like that. You can't just put the huge on top of that like a ball, alright? <laughs> you can see Neon's nipple. Nobody cares about nipple because it's all... Nipple doesn't give you more gems. Alright, you gotta pull for meta. Meta gives you more gems. Nipple? What does nipple give you? Nothing. It makes you go broke, go woke, alright? Nobody cares. So let's see. What is this all about then? So this is Quincy, Miss Seelis, Real Kindness Squad. Okay, so we have one new variant of Quincy. Okay, so what is she going to be all about? Another water type! Water abuser? Let's go. Any water abuser? Submachine gun. Attacker. Missilis. So they are releasing all of these back-to-back -back attackers. Are they insane? Huge! 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 You get what I'm saying? Wait, there's a bug? There's a bug? Why is that sound? Okay. Okay, okay, Queen C is huge. Alright, so let's see then. So we got huge, and this is going to bait people. So why is she huge? To bait the kids into pulling, and not save for anniversary, alright? Kids baited. So let's see then. What is uh, Queen C all about? Cool position though, cool position, right? Uh, where's the idol? It looks like she's gonna break her back anytime soon, but anyways. Um, <laughs> body suit. Alright, so both of them are water type. Activates only when Explore Road Stage 1 is fully stacked. Affect self. Distributed damage again. Increased by 50% continuously. Activates when Explore Road Stage 2 is fully stacked. Damage dealt when attacking core increased by 25%. And then there's Stage 3. Critical rate increased by 16%. Okay. So again, she's very similar. Very interesting. She's also a burst tree. So after landing 2 normal attacks, uh, effects in each phase vary. Previous effects trigger repeatedly. So she gets a hit rate increase, attack increase. It stacks out to 10 times. So that means 2.4, Which is kind of insane, right? And then you can see it goes up 4.9%, and then 7.3% attack, and 4% hit rate. This is a lot of attack boost. So her burst skill is going to increase her attack damage by 57%, it's going to increase her reload speed by 25%, and she also do 1,700%. This is the new record. Final attack as distributed damage. 1,700% of final attack. That's a lot. So isn't that more than uh, Phantom, right? Phantom was 1,005. Okay. And she's huge. So they don't really look like they need to be in the same team. But if you want to stack distributed damage and use a distributed damage uh, buffer, seem to be pretty strong. Don't call me All right. Thief. So, these are going to be the new characters coming in the next patch already. Wow. <coughs> Will she be gacha? Most likely, she's going to be the next event character. So, right now, we have a current Roach, and then she's going to come alongside with Phantom, both of them, uh, before the anniversary, so that you pull for them, and then you don't, have, uh, you don't have any more tickets for the anniversary. And then you cry, why did I make a wrong decision? And then the anniversary is going to be even more broken. And then people that pull for anniversary will be upset because Christmas... They're going to release an even more broken character. They will power creep all of this. Alright, that's how it works. Alright, power creep is real. <laughs>